Hi, Cedar Cliff Art students. Today I am going to show you how to do um, monotypes um, using kitchen supplies and just craft supplies and kind of whatever I have just laying around the house. Um, so as you can see, I have a, a print uh, of a photograph that I have. And this is a photograph of a Halloween mask. Um, I did a printmaking series with Halloween masks, so I wanted to continue with that. Uh, you can really use any uh, image that you want. Now I did um, edit this in Photoshop uh, just to kind of outline everything. Uh, you don't need to do that. Um, what I did was I, I used the find edges uh, filter and then I did it in black and white and printed it out. Um, and that just kind of will show you what it is that I'm going to be drawing on this image. So I'll show you how to do this. Um, you're going to need Reynolds kitchen freezer paper. Okay, and then this is how, where you're, how you're going to transfer the ink to your paper. Uh, if you have it, you're going to want some kind of uh, artist quality paper. This isn't the best artist quality paper. It's actually watercolor paper, not printmaking paper. Uh, but it's what I had. I just happened to get this at the thrift store for really cheap. So uh, this is why I'm using this particular paper. Um, if you don't have this, maybe like a heavier stock paper for your printer could work. Um, you could try printing on an old sheet if you don't have a... Uh, or pillowcase if you don't have uh, paper you could also try um, you could just try your printer paper um, if you happen to have that now I know it's, it's hard right now um, with all the materials and trying to get a hold of stuff so um, if, if you don't have this again don't sweat it just refer back to the drawing prompts um, and you can do that um, but if you have these materials, I thought you might want to give this a try. So, freezer paper, artist quality paper. Obviously, you need your image. Okay, again, here's my image. Um, I like to have a little pile of scrap paper. Um, and that just, it, it's a little bit softer than the tabletop. Um, and you'll get a better result of the image transferring if you try to draw onto something softer versus if you try to draw on something harder. Um, you're going to need something to apply the paint to the freezer paper um, and you're going to need something to draw with. You can use a ballpoint pen, mechanical pencil, uh, a medium to range pencil will do just fine. Uh, you might want to have some a spray bottle of water handy in case uh, you're first you might be a little slow at this um, with the process so your paint might dry so if you just missed your paper and then you blot it dry with some paper towels so it's slightly hydrated um, your paint's going to transfer better from the freezer paper to your artist quality paper um, last but not least you're going to need some kind of paint um, I'm just using craft acrylic and decorative stencil stamp paper it's because it's what i have um all the good paint is locked in the building over at cedar cliff uh in quarantine so uh it is what it is this is what we're using so we're gonna see that as you can see i mixed two colors because i wanted something a little bit darker so i'm gonna try to use this um my first print You look, you can see everything, but it's a little bit light, so I'm going to try something a little bit darker, see if that helps. Alright. So what you're going to do is you're going to tape your artist paper to the glossy side of your uh, freezer paper. Freezer paper is just basically... Um, like a thin paper with a plastic coating on it. You can see it's kind of glossy. Um, 
and then the other side's matte. So I'm going to tape my artist paper to the glossy side. Um, you should be able to see this. It's sort of transparent. Um, so you can kind of see the outline of the artist paper. Uh, and then you want to place this in the center. So you want to have an even border on the top, the sides, um, and then you want a slightly weighted um, border at the bottom if you can, meaning a weighted border is something that's slightly heavier. All right. Um, if the measuring is too complex, don't sweat it. Just make sure that you have um, the glossy side with your artist quality paper, the matte side with your image. Um, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint a thin, even layer of paint, and I wanna try to stay within the area where I have my uh, image. So I drew that with lines so you can see it. Um, and you're going to just apply a, a thin, even layer of paint. Um, you can go over a little bit, that's okay. You'd rather go over a little bit than not go enough. Now, just like gessoing a board, I'm going up to down, and then I'm going side to side. Up and down, side to side. Okay, I'm gonna take a cleaner brush, and I'm just gonna kind of buff this. So I'm going to carefully lay this down, and I'm going to try to not put too much pressure in the freezer paper. All right, so I have my scrap paper down on the bottom, I have my artist paper, I have my freezer paper face down uh, with paint on the back of it, and then I have my image. Notice I have my image taped down. Um, and I have it taped down so you can, uh, so it doesn't move around a whole lot. Let's see if I can do something like this here. You can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. I'm going to just start in one corner and I'm just going to outline everything that I want outlined. Um, I'm putting a good amount of pressure um, because you want to make sure that the paint transfers from the freezer paper to the artist paper. The disadvantage to reusing your drawing is that you don't really know if you've gone over it once 
or if you've gone over it twice. So try to be careful with that. Um, you can kind of peek, see how it looks as you go. Um, it's looking like I didn't really put enough down. Um, maybe I went a little too thin. Last time it looks like I went a little too heavy handed. So I'm just going to continue this and see what I get. Lift it up to see what you did and did not get. Okay. So I think I'm going to miss my paper. When I do this again, um, the reason why I don't want to just add more ink or paint is because then you're going to get a lot of the uh, a lot of noise. Uh, and when I mean noise, I mean the, the paint transferring, it's not supposed to. Um, you're never going to have a perfect print with this. Um, the part of the beauty of it is that you have that kind of DIY homemade sort of look to this. Um, so let's take a look, see what we have. So pretty light. Uh, I'm going to pause for now. I'm going to ink up and I'm going to try to do a print on top of this print. So stay tuned.